This is your host Sapin Bhatia and welcome to another episode of Mainframe Matters. And today we have with us Rudy Schulz, Senior Technical Staff Member of Observability and Open Telemetry for IBM Z and Linux One. Rudy it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Um, happy to join your show. It's my pleasure to host you here. What is the history of observability? But from Mainframe perspective, just, just quickly walk us through the history of observability. So this is actually a very good question. And if you think about the mainframe, actually the mainframe is now over 60 years old. And actually for a very long time of this period, there have been monitoring capabilities on the mainframe already. So on the mainframe, we have very strong monitoring capabilities. So if you think about the operating system COS, there we have a system measurement facility, which is a, which is a component of COS which allows you to measure or to take metrics, store them on, on DASTI, on, on, on a data store, and then have them post-processed, for instance, for reporting. This is how actually you know, monitoring started on the, on the mainframe. And then over time, of course, this has been evolved. There is you know, different types of application performance management solutions that address, of course, the middleware subsystems of the mainframe on the COS side. Um, moving forward in, in you know more recent future, there are now also observability products that support the mainframe that also go in this area, as we know it now with observability that we have metrics, trace and logs support integrated with each other, even enabling then uh, ways that you can recognize certain situations and based on those situ situations create incidents and then uh, respond to them in a proper manner either you know, through automation or to just forwarding them to your ticket system and having uh, uh, proper SMEs re responding to them. Just for the sake of mainframe, open mainframe audience, how would you define open telemetry to them? So open telemetry, it's an vendor agnostic open source observability framework. And the aim of the project is to make telemetry data, high quality telemetry data, available to any target so that it can be consumed there for further processing for analytics and then also of course for responding to any incidents for instance. And uh, when I think about open telemetry I usually refer to three components of the project. There are more but just to, to call them out there is the open telemetry protocol which describes of how the telemetry data is being encoded and transported on the wire. Then we have uh, very strong instrumentation. So if you think about the open telemetry as a specification, and there is a specification that describes APIs, then uh, we have code instrumentation provided by the community for various different languages, which we primarily, of course, see in the cloud native world. But um, if you think about it, what does the instrumentation da do? Then you get either in an automated way or by changing your projects, your code, your application, in a manual way, you get telemetry data provided by these instrumentations. And then the third project is the open telemetry collector. And the open telemetry collector, that allows you to define pipelines for processing, for creating, processing, transforming, and exporting telemetry data to any of these targets that, that would need this data to further process it. When we look at open telemetry, open telemetry is the only kind of open source solution or there for other technologies also that were there, you know, for mainframe? Over time in the last 20 and plus years, we have seen a lot of open source on the mainframe, specifically through Linux, but also on the COS side, we have open source tools being ported to uh, COS so that they are available on the platform. Now, if we take the question towards observability, and uh, this aspect of where are challenges in the observability space with the mainframe in a hybrid cloud environment, for instance, and if you have distributed applications, think about uh, a distributed application, a mobile application that spans from uh, services which are on the public cloud, uh, which are on a private cloud, and which have a backend for transaction processing on the mainframe, then what we want to have is an end-to-end -end observability view across those different services of those 
distributed applications that span across these different landing zones. And this is where customers are telling us, and, and this is also where then we want to, you know, make progress with the uh, work in the, in the open community with open telemetry is that they would like to have an improved end-to-end -end observability for the mainframe. So they want to have this capability to look across the different components, different services of those distributed applications. What kind of involvement with this project is there from the mainframe community? At the same time, if you can talk about what is the uh, open telemetry's presence within open mainframe community? So I'm looking at two different things from two different perspectives. I want to call out, um, we are just starting to work together with the community, uh, with the open telemetry, open source community, but we made already some progress. So uh, in the last year, we have been seeing the support of the open telemetry collector um, being supported on Linux on S390X. So this is the uh, Linux on, on the mainframe operating system uh, from, from the open source perspective. So we have support there. And then throughout the last year, in fact, uh, we also started to work with the open mainframe project. We started to work with the open telemetry community to establish sp this special interest group, uh, so this work group, that is now looking as part of the open telemetry, open source community at the mainframe. So we have a work group that is established like other work groups in the open telemetry, open source community. And that is taking care of, you know, different activities around open telemetry support for the platform. And uh, so um, that's one aspect. The other aspect, and this is just news, maybe just to, to, to also call that out, there was recently a survey by the open telemetry community of how to better enable um, the, you know, general uh, starting with open telemetry for users. And they included in this survey also the mainframe. And the good thing is that there was also, you know, some of these responders, they also uh, expressed an interest in information about or in better materials of how to work with open telemetry on the mainframe. It's a small portion, but it shows the growing interest in this. So this one side, we have this from, you know, customers, from users that are on the mainframe. This is the other side where we get this feedback. What is the bigger problem that Observability is solving for mainframe? And what are the other areas where it overlaps and help those teams as well? We touched earlier already on this, on improving the end-to-end -end observability for the mainframe. And uh, in particular for those uh, distributed applications where organizations run applications across different landing zones, pu public cloud, private cloud, the mainframe environment. And what they would like to have is visibility and improved visibility into the mainframe. And this is where open telemetry comes in and will support that because it will essentially what it does is provides an open standard for making telemetry data available. And also it provides the means to export this, for instance, to uh, targets that are enabled to consume the open telemetry protocol. Can you talk about uh, the creation of a special interest group for open telemetry on mainframe? I think there's multiple aspects to it. So uh, one is, for instance, there is a growing set of functionality in open telemetry itself. And on the other hand, we have customers of the mainframe asking for open telemetry support because they would like to have the telemetry data of the mainframe uh, better available in uh, off-platform processing, off-platform observability systems. And uh, when we think about that, then um, one purpose or one you know, uh, objective of setting up the SIG is in coordinating of how we can support open telemetry on the mainframe and how can we ensure that these different projects that open telemetry is working on and how they can be ported to the mainframe, how the support can be also realized by the open source community. Uh, as an example here, the open telemetry collector is already supported on Linux on S390X, but now we want to also embrace this or, or extend this into other uh, projects like the code instrumentation, getting the code instrumentation for Linux on C, 
but also on to the COS operating system. This is one of these objectives of uh, why it's reasonable to establish the, the, the SIG. How much engagement from the larger open telemetry community, the CNCF, is with this SIG? I just want to understand the relationship between these two different projects. Right. Particular projects. So we received support in establishing the, the SIG from the technical, but as well from the uh, governance committee of the open source, open, open telemetry community. Uh, we also received support from the Open uh, Mainframe project, and uh, uh, we are at this stage still in a in a initial phase of the special interest group. So we are uh, actively looking for more contributions, more contributors to join the SIG, to work with us on topics like Open Telemetry semantic conventions, but also on porting activities of Open Telemetry components to the platform. What are the short-term and long-term mission and goals of this SIG? Short-term, what we are currently working on is on the Open Telemetry Semantic Conventions. And the idea here is the Open Telemetry Semantic Conventions, they provide a, a specification for naming attributes, for naming uh, spans and distributed tracing, for naming uh, also metrics. And uh, the idea here is uh, we want to map these concepts of the mainframe and which, you know, to, to the history are sometimes different to what we have in the cloud native world. We essentially want to get a mapping onto uh, what the open telemetry semantic conventions are and also extend them where is needed so that then there is a representation of the mainframe as part of the open telemetry semantic conventions. And now with respect to the future, what the uh, special interest group is being set up for is uh, we also want to have an investment in mainframe specific languages from a perspective of code instrumentation. So in a longer term, we would like to see SDKs that uh, provide support for uh, code instrumentation, for instance, for COBOL or PL1, and then having those SDKs being enabled to run in COS and uh, exporting, for instance, uh, open telemetry protocol or with the open telemetry protocol and metrics, logs, and, and traces. How much uh, work has been done on the open mainframe project and how does it work? The open mainframe project they, was in first place for, uh, pivotal in setting up the special interest group. So um, the, the work with the, the open mainframe project is primarily around um, getting also uh, support from the mainframe community. And then uh, over time, what we hope to do is also provide education about open telemetry to the open mainframe community. And uh, uh, potentially also, as we see us as a project that is between or on both sides, we have it on the open telemetry project side, but also we are engaged with the open mainframe project. This is actually where the synergies come in because uh, the knowledge about the mainframe, this is with the open mainframe community, of course, and we would like over time also see more contributions from members of the open mainframe project to our SIG, because then we can actually bring in the knowledge that is there into the open telemetry community. Who should join this SIG? Why they should join it? And now look at it from both perspectives, what they will get by joining the SIG and what the community will get to them joining. We are actively looking for more contributors to the SIG. And uh, we are looking here at different vendors, vendors that are in the space of the mainframe itself, but also vendors that are in the observability space. Uh, we are looking for users of the mainframe to join the SIG. And uh, what we hope to establish by this is a proper representation of the mainframe in the semantic conventions of open telemetry. But also then uh, what we assume is we will get proper porting of the open telemetry components to the mainframe so that we are uh, adhering to the standards of the mainframe when it comes to those components. And what the community will get is uh, the mainframe will become part of the open telemetry, but also part of the larger observability ecosystem. Udiga, thank you so much for taking time out today to uh, talk about 
open telemetry on mainframe, the whole open source spec and the, the involvement of the community. Thanks for great insights. And I would love to chat with you folks again. Thank you. Thank you.